Greetings baseball fans. Today we have the fourth in a series of memorial games honoring Major League Ball players who passed on in the year 2020. And once again the game is History Maker Baseball from Play Games. And the season is 1968 and we have the New York Yankees visiting the Detroit Tigers at Tiger Stadium. Two players on the Yankees roster um, have left us in 2020. Second baseman Horace Clark and relief pitcher Lindy McDaniel. Well, I will attempt to get into the game one way or another, uh, short of a, uh, a no-hitter for the Yankees starting pitcher Mel Stottlemyre. And for the Tigers, Al Kaline. And the Tigers starting pitcher, none other than 31 winner Denny McLean. Uh, Tiger Stadium dimensions are considered small. And the umpiring crew is Bill Williams at first, Frank Sicori at second, Ed Vargo at third, and Doug Harvey behind the plate. Both teams are considered uh, harmonious and sunny as far as um, the chemistry goes. And as always, the cleanup hitter is the hot batter and the number eight hitter is the cold batter. So let's take a quick look at the lineup for the Yankees. Horace Clark at second leading off. Roy White in left field. Joe Pepitone in center field. Cleanup hitter Mickey Mantle at first base on his last legs. Andy Costco, the right fielder. Hitting six, Bobby Cox, third baseman. Behind the plate, Jake Gibbs. At short, Tom Tresh. Tom Tresh. And the pitcher hitting ninth, Mel Stottlemyre, right-hander. And for the hometown Tigers, Dick McAuliffe leading off at second base. Mickey Stanley at center field. Our featured uh, player, Al Kaline in right. Willie Horton, the cleanup hitter in left field. Norm Cash at first base. Hitting sixth, Bill Freehand catching. Don Wirt hitting seventh at third base. The inimitable Ray Euler at shortstop. And Denny McLean batting ninth. And this is just a classic. Uh, Tigers lineup. I just love playing this team when you've got a guy like Jim Northrup on the bench who could easily be one of the uh, starters. So here we go. Ready to roll in the top of the first. Horace Clark leading it off. 3 4 6. And he is an eager hitter, so he flies out to center field. Mickey Stanley under it for the catch. Roy White, left fielder. Switch hitter hitting left against McLean. 1 2 5. Grounds out to third. So Don Wirt up with that one. Fires over to Mantle. Two down. Joe Pepitone. 5 6 6. And that's, that's going to be a strikeout. McLean blowing some heat past Pepitone for the third out, and the next batter will go to the baseball right now chart. As the Tigers come up in the bottom of the first, Dick McAuliffe leading off. One, two. Uh, ground out to short because he is not a hot batter. Mickey Stanley. Back to the main chart. Oops, let's roll all three of them. Uh-oh, 555. Five, five. An ace or star, it's going to be a deep fly out to right field. The cider die gives Mill 
Stottlemyre the ace quality and it's a fly out to avoid a home run. So, where does that hit to the right field? Yeah, that would be uh, Andy Costco making the catch on the warning track. Two down for Al Kaline, our featured player on the Tigers. 2-2-4. Two, two, uh, Slugger, decided die, says yes. He doubles to left field. So, Kaline making his presence known here with two outs. Man on second, Willie Horton the batter. 1-4-6. A flash pitcher is going to strike him out. Decider Dyer does not agree. So we keep going, and it's a ground out to second to end the inning. Yankees up, top second. Mantle the batter. 3 4 5. Iron catcher is going to be a base on balls, and freehand is semi iron. Decider Dyer says yes. Mantle waits out a walk. And I forgot to mention before the game that uh, our first three games in this series have all been plagued by camera blunders on my part by forgetting that the camera shuts off after 30 minutes. So I don't know if it's on camera, but over in the corner there I've got a, a clock timer ticking down the minutes from 30, and when it uh, hits 30 I shut off the camera and I start a new video to complete the game. So Mantle on first, definitely not a threat to steal, Andy Costco. Two, three, three. An ace or star. McLean is, and that will be a ground out to short. And a fielder's choice, so Costco will be the runner. Mantle thrown out at second. <clears throat> Bobby Cox the batter with one out. Three, five, six. If he's hitting from the same side of the plate, strikes him out, and he is. So that's second strikeout from McLean. Okay, two down. Jake Gibbs batting left-handed against McLean. The pitch, 3-3-6. Three, three, an ace uh, pitcher gets him to fly out the center field. McLean is an ace. And uh, there's our center fielder makes the catch there. That is Mickey Stanley. So that's easy inning for McLean. And we are going to the... Uh, experience chart. I'm so, yeah, play, player experience chart. In the bottom of the second. <clears throat> so Norm Cash, he is an icon and Mel Stottlemyre is neutral as far as that goes. So 4-4, four, four, umpire calls a timeout to look at the bat. When play resume, batter takes ball four based on ball. So Cash is a runner. No threat to steal. Bill Freehand, the batter, one, two, four. <clears throat> a control pitcher gets a ground out to short. That's going to be a double play. Freehand could not leg it out. That is going to be Tresh to um, Clark to Mantle for the for the double play. Don Work with two out. One, two, six. Fresh pitcher gets a line out to second base. Clark snags it on the fly and that is three down in the second inning Yankees coming up top of the third scoreless game Tom Tresh the batter 2-3-6 a double control pitcher gets a ground out to short McLean is double control so Tresh grounds out and Stottlemyre also grounds out so Denny McLean looking real tough here in the early going. Horace Clark up for the second time in the game. There's a triple one, and an ace pitcher is going to get him to ground out the third. McLean is an automatic third. Easy grounder to Don Wirt. Fires over to um, Cash for the out, and the Yankees are done. We go to the bottom of the third, no score. Ray Euler, the shortstop. Sad sack, scrapper, and semi whiffer. The pitch, two, three, four. Pops out the third. Easy catch for Bobby Cox. Brings up Denny McLean. One, five, six. Whiffer gets him to strike out. First K for Mel Stottlemyre. Back to the top of the order, we got Dick McCall batting for the second time. 
Three five six. If he's hitting from the same side of the plate, no. Uh, utility decided die does not agree, so it's a single down the first base line. Second hit off Stoudemire, and uh, we'll check for a steal. Call if is neutral. He does not take a chance. So Mickey Stanley, man off first, two out. One three four. Gold catcher gets the strikeout. I don't believe we have a gold catcher. Oh, Jake Gibbs, semi gold. Desire Dive does not agree. Um, so we go to outfield drama chart. Four six. Left fielder is iron. Well, let's see. Left fielder iron. Roy White is not. So that is a running grab of hooking line dry, line dry for the third out, and the next one is going to go to the team chemistry chart. So at the end of three, no score at Tiger Stadium, 1968 Yankees and Detroit Tigers. So we got the uh, team chemistry chart. Both teams are sunny. 3-4. Batting team Harmony, yes, waits for his pitch and smacks a single to center. There is the first hit off of Denny McLean. We'll check Roy White for a steal chance. He does not attempt it. And number three hitter Joe Pepitone steps in. Left-handed swinger against McLean. 1-6-6. Uh, there's that gilded uh, quality again, which all 1968 pitchers have. So that is going to be a single to left. White holds up at second. And Mickey Mantle, the batter, and it's going to go back to the player experience chart. Mantle, an icon. Denny McClain, a semi-icon. Here's the pitch, 2-5. Icon batter, yes, anticipates the pitch, chops a single pass short. So Mantle uh, was able to read that pitch, his icon status experience. Connects with a single, and let's see, the base running. Uh, runners advance one base on a single. All right, so it's, uh, uh, no, so he doesn't doesn't score. Let's see, we'll see if White uh, can take the extra base. Uh, only advanced runner will take the extra base. So uh, Weiss did not score on that when his base is loaded. So McLean suddenly in trouble here in the fourth inning. Three straight singles, Andy Costco the batter. And as I mentioned in, in previous um, games, I'm probably going to make some mistakes here and there. If you see them, you could point them out in the comments, but I'm just going to keep going. Uh, so here we go. Andy Costco, we're going to play infield in. 4-5-5. Flash pitcher gets a strikeout. And let's see, a good eye? No, he's not a good eye. So McLean bears down. Blows three strikes past Costco, swinging. And... Uh, so that's one out. Base is still loaded. The Tigers will move the infield back, trying to get a twin killing for Bobby Cox. Three, four, five. Uh, let's see. Strikeout. Two in a row. That's the fourth K for Denny McLean. He might get out of this inning. We're going back to the right now chart. And because he just struck out the last batter, McLean is going to be a hot pitcher as far as strikeouts go. So it's Jake Gibbs. Base is loaded here. 3-5. Hot batter. No. Otherwise, fly out to left. Uh, Willie Horton's under it. Third out, Denny McLean pitches out of a bases loaded, no out jam. That's some major league pitching right there. Gets a nice hand from the... Uh, Tiger Stadium crowd as he walks off the field, and here come the Tigers up to bat. Our featured player, Al Kaline, doubled his last time up. Looks in for the pitch from Stoudemire, 3 4 6. And he draws a walk. And he is not an active batter, so no stolen base. And the next one is going to the team chemistry chart for Willie Horton. 3-3, three, three. Uh, ground out the first, and let's see what kind of ground out that is. Fielder's choice. Okay, so Horton becomes the runner, K-line thrown out at second, brings up Norn Cash, one out, man on first. 1-1-4, fresh pitcher gets a ground out to short, 
and the 1968 era rules have the pitchers going fresh for four innings so that is going to be a double play that's the second double play um, Tresh to Clark to Mantle that the Yankees have pulled. So, Tigers out in the fourth. Brings us to the top of the fifth. No score. Tom Tresh, bottom of the order, up. Two, three, six. Double control is going to be a ground out to the pitcher. And again, same result we got last time for Tresh. Double control, which McLean is, means he gets two, two consecutive ground outs, and both times it was Tom Tresh. So McLean's showing all the stuff you would expect from a pitcher who went 31-6 and six in real life. Horace Clark. 3-4-5. Uh, let's see. He is not a good eye. Strike him out for the third out. That's the fifth K for McLean. So one of our featured players is 0 for 3 so far, Horace Clark. Brings up Bill Freehand. 1, 2, 3. Flash and Fresh. Uh, let's see. Nope, Desired Dive does not agree on either count, so it's just a ground out to short. Tom Tresh getting a lot of work on the left side of the infield today. Don Work. Up for the second time, one three three. Flies out to left. Roy White's under that one. Two down. Ray Euler. Two three three. An ace or star. Uh, Desired die does not give it to Stottlemyre, so it's just going to be a fly out to center. Uh, that's easy catch for the Yankees at the end of five. No score. So uh, this is shaping up as a typical 1968 year of the pitcher American League game. Top six, Roy White steps in, three, four, six. And he's going to draw a walk. He's not an active runner, so no steal. And the next one is going to the chemistry chart. So we got a man at first, Pepitone the batter, checking the chemistry chart. 5-5. Five, five. Fouls out to the catcher. So Freehand throws off the uh, mask. And he gets a hold of that one for one down. Mantle the batter. Reached base both times with a walk and a single. And I have it here marked as an RBI single. That was not. So uh, So here's the pitch to Mantle. 2-2-5. Two, two, uh, let's see. He's not a slugger. Single to center field. Uh, runners advance one base. So again, we got uh, Mantle reaches base for the third time. First and second, one out. For Andy Costco struck out his last time. When McLean blew uh, three fastballs by him. And here's the pitch. Let's see what he can do this time. One, three, six. Ace pitcher gets a strikeout. And and Mantle gets Costco for the second time with runners on base. That means Costco has, let's see, one, Costco has stranded six runners so far in three at-bats. And that's strikeout number six for McLean. Two outs, Bobby Cox, who has struck out his first two times up. 2-5-5. Five, five. Uh, no, not a home run. King flies out to left. So Roy White. Gets under that one. Three away. Again, McLean pitches out of, out of danger. And we do not have a, uh, a run on the scoreboard here as we enter the bottom of the six with McLean the batter. Gets a nice hand from the Tiger Stadium crowd. One, two, five. Grounds out the third. And let's see, a whiffer is going to strike out instead. So that is the second strikeout for Stoudemire. Both of them against Denny McLean. Top of the order again, Dick McCall have singled his last time up. Uh, he is not a let's see, he's not a prospect pitcher. So he is going to pop out the second. Horace Clark under that one easily. Two down. Mickey Stanley up. One four six. Flash. The side or die does not agree. So he's just gonna ground out the third. 
Bobby Cox fires it across the infield to Mantle for the third out. And we're going into the seventh inning with no score. We'll see if Lindy McDaniel has a chance to get into the game for the Yankees. Well, at least it's not a no-hitter. Otherwise, I might have to struggle with um, the decision to keep uh, Stoudemire in. So here we go. Jake Gibbs, bottom of the order. 2-3-6. Double control. There it is again. Grounds out to short. And he gets the next out. So <laughs> Tresh a victim three times there. Well, this time it was Gibbs that started it. But... Tresh has been involved three times in a double control reading. So that's going to bring up Stottlemyre. And, uh, well, no score. We're going to let him back. Not much of a threat. One, three, six. And ace pitcher gets him to strike out for K number seven on the score sheet. This game is just moving along here. So, seventh inning stretch, Tiger Stadium. And it brings up uh, Al Kaline, reach bait reached base both times already with a double and a walk. Our featured player, 2-3-6. Double control. Stottlemyre does not have it. And let's see, that's going to be a walk. Kalon gets another walk. And reaches base for the third time. Ah, he's a neutral runner. Let's see. Get something going here. Nope. Does not get a chance to steal, so Willie Horton steps in. He's got power. 4-5-6. He's not a patient hitter, so he flies out to center. And we are going to go to chemistry chart for Norm Cash. 6-6, six, six, batting team harmony, yes. Batter focus with big swing. It's headed for the fence. So uh, the team is in harmony, so we are going to check the fence chart. And Cash, let's see, he is a home run king. So anything other than a one is going to be a two-run shot. Oh boy, here we go. And it's a five. That's a home run over the, uh, did say what fence? No, we'll call it over the left field fence. Uh, Cash is a lefty, so he hit it over the right field fence. Cash goes yard against Mel Stoudemire. And uh, Andy Costco can only watch the ball sail over his head into the stands. The uh, Tigers have a 2-0 lead, which is going to be pretty tough with McLean on the mound. So one out, free hand the batter. The batter. 1-3-3. Three, three. He is not a slugger. He flies out to left for the second out. And Don Worth, the batter. 4-5-6. He's not patient, so he flies out to center. And the next batter is going to be King Chemistry again. But the Tigers finally put some runs on the board. Two-run shot for Norm Cash. We head to the top of the eighth. And I think next inning I'm, I'm going to bring in Lindy McDaniel just so he gets into the game. Because uh, Stottlemyre batted uh, to end the previous inning. So uh, top of the order. Um, what did I say on, on that last one? Did I say it was a... Uh, Team Chemistry? I don't even remember now. Yeah, team, all right, Team Chemistry. Uh, so Horace Clark leading it off on the chemistry chart. Top eight, Tigers leading 2-0. One, four, singles. So Clark looking to get things started. We're going to check for a possible stolen base. He does not steal. Uh, should Roy White lay down a bunt? Should we try a hit and run? Hmm. I never really used a hit and run. Uh, let's see. Roll on main chart. Adjust as follows. Uh, we're just going to let Roy White hit. Always reluctant to bunt, even though that was a uh, common strategy in '68. We'll let we'll let uh, White hit away. Two, three, four. Run, run, base, plate drama. Okay. Okay. Let's see what we got going. 2-2. Two, two. If the pitcher is gold, uh, Demi McLean is semi-gold, decided die, does not agree. Fumbles the ball, safe at first on error. So, Denny McLean had trouble picking that one up, and suddenly the Yankees have two batters on again. It will, McLean, pitch out of another jam. And that is, let's see, the next batter is going to uh, player experience. 
So we got no out. And then on first and second, Pepitone the batter. He is a semi-icon. McLean is a semi-icon as we check the player experience chart. 2-5, icon batter. Decided, uh, decide or die does not agree. So he gets a line out to third. There's a break for McLean. Uh, Don Work snags it and he looks Clark back to second. So that's one down and here's a position you don't want to be in if you're a pitcher. Mickey Mantle, even if he was at the end of his career, stepping in with two men on base in the eighth inning and your team trailing by two. McLean looks in for the sign for Freeman. Free hand. Here's the pitch to Mantle. 1-1-2. One, one, Flash pitcher gets the strikeout. And let's see, uh, we're checking for a good eye. Mantle does not have the quality, so big strikeout for Denny McLean. Strikeout number eight, he gets Mantle. And boy, if that was a, uh, he would have got him out if it was a 1-1-1 one, one, one anyway. Uh, so two out, McLean on the verge of pitching out of another jam. Amazing. Andy Costco, he's been the GOAT for the, uh, the Yankees so far. Stranding six runners on base, and now he has another chance to redeem himself with two out in the eighth, two men on. Here's the pitch. Three, four, five. Uh, iron catcher, freehand is semi-iron, desire to die, does not agree. Good eye. He is not a good eye. Struck him out. Strikeout number nine. He has struck out Costco three consecutive times. Costco has left ten runners on base. Uh, no, I'm sorry, eight, eight runners on base in four at-bats. Uh, it's going to be easy picking the, uh, the goat of this game. Well, I don't know who the hero is going to be, but it's uh, pretty sure that uh, Costco is going to be the goat unless he gets a chance to bat again. So, uh, nice hand for Stottlemyers. He comes out. Our other honored player who left us in 2020, Lindy McDaniel, is going to come on and pitch the eighth inning for the Yankees. Ace, flash, and control are his qualities, and he's facing <coughs> Ray Euler, bottom of the eighth. The pitch to, oops, we need three dice. The pitch to Euler. Three, four, four. And he is not a prospect pitcher. Not patient. Uh, pops, out to, pops out to second. McLean, the batter, gets a nice hand from the Tiger Stadium uh, faithful. One out, McLean the hitter. One six six. A gilded pitcher lets up a single because all pitchers are gilded in 1968. So McLean is going to help his cause with a single to left. And we're going to head over to the experience chart. For Dick McAuliffe, an icon, and McDaniel is an icon. So <clears throat> here's the pitch. 2 4, icon batter, delivers single just inside the baseline. Uh, I think that's only going to be runner. Yeah, runners advance, one base on a single. So first and second, one out. And it's going to bring up Mickey Stanley. Back to the main chart we go. As I watch the timer clock and make sure I. Shut it off before we hit 30 minutes and start a new, uh, a new tape. Stanley up. One out. Two on. Four, six, six. Control pitcher. McDaniel is control. Stanley reads the pitch. He singles to left. And I'm pretty sure that's, that is uh, going to score a runner. Yeah, two ba uh, so McLean comes in. McAuliffe goes to third. So it's first and third. One out. McDaniel... Uh, has let up three straight hits, so I uh, let's see. Uh, that makes him a semi-struggler, I believe. If I got it wrong, just uh, make a note in the comments there. So it's first and third, one out, infield back for Al Kaline. Uh, our honored player today has reached three times with a double and two walks. Here's the pitch from McDaniel, three three six. And ace pitcher gets a fly out the center field, and let's see, is that going to score the runner? Uh, Stoic runner. Other scores. So we got to check to see if McAuliffe is stoic. He is not, so it's going to be a sack fly for Al Kaline. Having a good day here. Uh, so it's going to bring in another run with two out. Horton up, and we got a runner on first. Two runs in. The pitch from McDaniel. Three, four, six. 
Uh, it's going to be a walk. And we're going to head over to the chemistry chart. And both teams sunny. Here we go. 2-3. Pitching team harmony. Marginal pitch catches the corner. Struck him out. So McDaniel gets out of the inning, but not before allowing two runs. It is 4-0 Tigers as we enter the ninth inning. And there's less than a minute left on the clock, so I'm going to turn it off and start a new video. Okay, we are back in the ninth inning. Play resumes with the Tigers holding a 4-0 lead uh, on a two-run homer from Norm Cash. Sacrifice fly from Al Kaline and a... Uh, uh, what was the other one? A single RBI single from Mickey Stanley. 4 nothing. Denny McLean working on a shutout. He's allowed only five singles, two walks, and nine strikeouts. And it's going to bring up the bottom of the order here. Bobby Cox, third baseman, steps in. Last chance for the Yankees. 1-1-2. One, one, uh, flash pitcher gets the strikeout. There's number 10 for McLean. What a game he is having. Jake Gibbs, 1-2-5, grinds out the third, two down, uh, we're going to let Tom Tresh back, let's see if we got someone with some kind of power on the bench here, uh, well, we got Frank Fernandez, semi home run king, we'll let him pinch hit for Tom Tresh, so here's McLean, nobody on, two out in the ninth, Going for the shutout. Pitch to Fernandez. There's 1-1-2 one, one, again. Flash pitcher is going to get the strikeout. Uh, he has not a good eye, so there's no walk. McLean blows it past Fernandez. Strikeout number 11. Amazing performance by Den Denny McLean. Five-hit shutout. And at home in front of a uh, sellout crowd at Tiger Stadium. Final score, Tigers 4, Yankees nothing. And let's see, so it's 5 hits for the Yankees. Tigers made 1 error, Yankees made no errors. 3, 4, 5, and the Tigers only had 6 hits, but they made the most of what they had. Uh, Stoudemire will get the loss, allowed 2 runs, and L Lindy McDaniel, unfortunately one of our featured players, allowed 3 hits, a walk, and 2 runs in 1 inning. And uh, let's see, as far as our featured players, Al Kaline had a great day. Double, two walks, and a sacrifice fly. And let's check uh, Horace Clark. Went one for four with a single. So, that wraps it up there, and I think we finally got a complete game on video. So from uh, Tiger Stadium and Play.com, makers of History Maker Baseball, thanks for checking in and join us on our next Memorial Game. Thanks for watching.